Hi friends, it's Terry Gaines. In this video tutorial, I'm going to give you all the details to create this fun fold card. I'm calling it a triple panel peekaboo card. You have a window cut out in the front panel, then you have three additional panels and they're almost extended on arms and you get that peekaboo effect when you open and close the card. This is such a fun card to make. You can create it with lots of different products. I'm going to be using the Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper on this card along with additional samples I have to share with you at the end of the video tutorial. The additional samples are using different dies for the windows and the panels. So let me talk about the product for this card. As I mentioned, I'm using the Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper. This is absolutely beautiful Designer Series paper that you have 12 different scenic designs, and then on the back side you have some background papers. It's absolutely beautiful. The dies for this card are from the Thoughtful Expressions dies. You, they coordinate with a stamp set that will cut out, the dies will cut out some of the images in the stamp set. And I'm using three of the dies that are in this, are these dies here. I'm using the three largest ones for this sample. I do have a lot of the work already done. So let me talk about the measurements. For the card base, it is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and you cut the window. The largest die is cut out that out of that front panel. Then you will have some arm, an arm piece, a cardstock arm. This is 10 and seven eighths by one and a half. It's scored at three and five eighths and at seven and a quarter. So that's what you I'm using for the arms. You do need some ish, additional panels. Panel one is the very same size as the window. I'm using Mossy Meadow for this cardstock. The rest here is the basic black. For panel two, you need quantity five that are smaller than this panel. I have those in basic black. And the um, panel three, Quantity five, which is smaller than panel two, you need five of those. This is optional. I have three of, or four of them as designer series paper and one as a sentiment. And then whatever you want to decorate your panels. I am going to decorate one of the panels with a sentiment called wish or sentiment. That's wishing you comfort. I use the stylish shapes banner to cut that out and then I use my paper trimmer to cut that shorter and I'll just share quickly the stamp sets I used. I used the wishing you comfort from the comforting thoughts and then I used the um, in your hearts and prayers with from the so sincere stamp set. So that's the materials we need to make the card so let's start with the instructions. So we're going to have our card base. Now I do wanna share with you, I did one additional step. This is optional and not all of my samples have this additional step. What I did was I put my card after I cut out the window in an embossing folder and ran that through my cut and emboss machine. That texturized the front and the back of the card. So that's just adding some texture to that. That is totally optional. So what I'm going to do is put adhesive on the back side of this panel one, which is the same size as the window. So I'm going to use my stamp and seal and just put some adhesive on the back of this. I'm going to hold down on the card right where the fold is and get this flushed. I'm going to hold this up on an angle so I can put this piece right in that window so I get it right where we want it to be located. So that's going to be step one. Step two is putting the arms over this panel. Now keep in mind, now this is black on black. It might be hard to see on the video. When you place this down, you have more, just slightly more than a quarter inch on the end of the card to this piece, and then from the score line to this piece. And you're gonna to wanna to place this equal spacing, top and bottom, and equal spacing on the left and right. And what we're going to do, and I'm doing this now, you'll do it when you recreate the card, is put adhesive on that back panel. And then we're going to equal spacing top and bottom and equal spacing left and right. And if you're off a little bit, please don't worry about it. It's not going to be noticeable at all. 
Now, I did fail to tell you that when I fold this, and it doesn't matter, you can refold it after you attach it, as long as you attach the center panel to the back of the center panel. I like to fold the right one down and then the left one down, and that's how I like to close the card. So let's start by working in the center. We're going to put this panel two right over here. Now, one thing I like to tell people if they're going to recreate this card, I would make all of my panel twos the very same color. And the reason is, is we're going to stack them on top of each other. And if they're the same color, then if we're off just a hair, it's totally okay. And people aren't going to notice that. So I'm going to center this right over with equal spacing all around here. And then I've already stamped my inside sentiment, so I'm going to place that on next. So put your favorite adhesive, use your favorite adhesive as you layer these together. And so now we have that one down. Now the next thing we're going to do, or I'm going to do, is fold this down. Now I'm going to attach another panel to this side of the arm. And it might be hard to see because I have everything black, but we're gonna attach it just to this side of the arm. I'm going to use the black one already adhered as my guide and only put adhesive on this basic black piece that will be covered up when I place this down. So what I'm going to do is put my adhesive just within that border. And this is why we want these the same color because if they're the same color, and you go to line this up and if you're off a hair, nobody's going to see that. It all camouflages. So that's the first piece I'm going to put on. Then I'm going to open this up and attach another one to cover this side. This one you can put adhesive on the entire back of the piece of die cut. You can lay it down on the table to line it up. I always like to use my fingers. I just kind of make everything kind of be flush and then I attach that. I'm going to wait and attach the designer series paper and just talk a little bit about that and why I kind of why I decide to put what paper where in what location. So the next thing we want to do is place this down then you're going to place that other arm. We're going to use this already attached panel two as the guide for where to put the adhesive. We're just putting it within that location. Then we can take this one and line this up. And I think now you realize that if I you can see why we want it the same color, if I'm off a little bit, it's all okay, it's all camouflaged. And then we wanna cover the back side of that. So we're gonna put more adhesive on here. And I'm going to use my fingers just in the different locations to get everything aligned and burnish it. Now do note that this does not line up. It's not supposed to, that's how it should be. So this is kind of the mechanics of the card. Now this panel three would kind of be a decorative image. And the reason I wanted to show these is kind of one of them is going to be the outside. One of them is going to be this inside layer and two of them are going to be viewed at the same time. And these two get viewed at the same time also when you open up the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere those. And then we'll put the middle layer on. So I'm just going to attach those. And this paper is absolutely beautiful. It's really the embellishment of the card. You really don't have to add more to this card. Um, so we have that. Now I'm gonna close this one. Now I'm gonna have, I'm going to put this one right here. Well, you know, really it's a toss up. I might put this one on the front of the card and I'm gonna put this one right here. So let me put adhesive on the back of that. Now I did share with you, I have this additional sentiment. I'm attaching that right to this panel kind of flush to that score line and I'm going to use my double-sided adhesive. I would suggest not to use any um, dimensionals on any of these inside layers. So we have that. I'm going to close this and this will be the outside of the card. 
This paper has the 12 different designs. So I'm going to show you some other papers that I used on those other cards that I talked about. Now, doesn't that make a beautiful card? And what I'm going to do to add additional embellishments is use these adhesive back dragonflies and birds. And I'm going to start out with attaching one on the front. I'm going to have it flying there. Then I'm going to open this one. I'm going to put the same bird flying here. I'm going to put the other one here. And then I'm going to put another one here. I'm putting one on every of all of these different panels, but you can pick and choose which ones you want to put on. But isn't that a beautiful card? So this is a duplicate of this card. Let me show you another card. This one is using the countryside corner dies. And I use the Knight of Navy and the Orchid Opulence in here. Um, and then this paper is using this print, or it's already cut out. But what I want to show you, the reason I wanted to show you this, is where you place your panels kind of gives you a different image. So if you place it lower, you're going to get more of the fl field flowers. Higher, you're going to get more sky on this print. And you decide what you would like to use for that. But I just love the beautiful paper. And this one, I have a different sentiment, different colors, different dyes, and such a fun card. Now, these cards can be a card for many different occasions. And now I have a couple cards I'm going to share with you that I use the Nested Essential dies. I use the larger three of this design, and I have it in this fashion. And I also texturize this card with the exposed brick folder to add a little bit of texture to this. And then I texturized this one with the crosshatch one, which is part of the basics 3D folders. And you can see that I use different locations to get different parts of the design. So um, this one image is from right here. And then when you open this up, you can see that this one would be this design. So you can play around with the location of where you cut those dies out. And on this one, I put the dragonflies instead of the bird. So I have a bird here. So birds on the inside and dragonfly on the outside. My next card sample, I use the same dies. And this one, I have this print. And you need four of the designer series paper prints. So I can get three out of one, six by six. And the fourth one I got out of another piece. But just love the versatility of this fun fold. Now the next card, I'm using the next two cards. I'm using the rectangle or the deckled rectangle dies. And this one I have the Knight of Navy. I did not texturize the card base, but I texturized the panels after I adhered them. And just play around with the colors that you wanna use. You cannot go wrong with your color choice. And I just love this fun fold with this designer series paper. Then I have one more. This one is with um, a designer series paper that has the bigger flowers on the bottom. And I kind of showcase those on the first panel. I have a dragonfly and then I showcase it on this panel. And then I kind of use this one as a scenic one. So how fun is this to create? So I will put all the measurements on the text portion of my video. There'll be a link to a blog post where you can also see photos of these cards along with a link to the first card I designed. This is one of my thank you gifts for placing qualifying orders with me. This one has different measurements because we're using designer series paper for this. So you can always see on the bottom of my blog post all my the reference to my thank you gifts for placing qualifying orders. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Take care and happy creating.